everyone, what's up? It's Amanda. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use your Mac to screen record what is playing on your new Apple TV. Now this only works with the new one and you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a USB-C cord. You're also gonna need QuickTime player to do the screen recording itself. And then you're also gonna need either an HDMI enabled monitor or you're gonna to have to have your TV close by so that you can plug it in. So the USB-C cord I'm using is from iOrange, and I'll make sure to have this link down below, but it's one of the ones that was recommended by the Google engineer that tested all these cords to make sure they were up to standards. So on the back of your Apple TV, just above the HDMI slot, you'll see that little slot is where you use your USB cable. And just go ahead and plug that into the back of the Apple TV. And then you wanna go ahead and plug in your HDMI as well as your power. So the back of my computer monitor has a HDMI input, so I'm going to be using this, and this is the ASUS MX27AQ. And then I'm gonna take the other end of the USB-C and I'm going to plug it into my MacBook. And what you're seeing right now on my screen is my MacBook. I do have the Apple TV screensavers installed, which I've done a video on that. And just to show you guys real quick, I'll switch the input over and I will show you the Apple TV displaying. Okay, so there's the Apple TV displaying, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch back, just like I was on my computer, and you had the HDMI input just plugged into another TV sitting somewhere else. It wouldn't matter, as long as the cord reaches, obviously. So from here, I understand it gets just a little bit confusing because normally this would be hooked up to a TV so you could see them side by side what's going on. But just to show you at the bottom, I am using my Mac and it is working. And if I go ahead and click on my Apple TV, it took it just a minute to respond, which I normally haven't experienced much lag. But if I click on it, it is working. But what you're viewing is the window that we're going to be recording. That is the screen recording session, and I will pop it up and show you exactly how to get that going. So you're gonna to need to make sure you have the QuickTime Player app installed on your computer, which I've already have it installed, and I keep it in my dock at all times. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that. And you're gonna see this screen pop up and I'm just gonna click done and close out of that. And I'm gonna zoom in and show you exactly what to do. Okay, so here it is the screen. You just hit done and then you go up to QuickTime Player and you go over to file and you wanna hit new movie recording. And this is the screen that's gonna pop up. Now yours may not show anything. It may have just a big black square, but then you're gonna click this little arrow down here and you wanna make sure you select Apple TV. And then you wanna scroll down to where it says microphone and make sure you hit Apple TV as well. And then once you've got that all set up, you just hit the big red record button and I will show you exactly what it records. 